All right, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at this C2 figure that I recently just got. This is C2's figure from Code Geass, Lucia of the Resurrection, Pilot Suit figure from Mega House, part of their GEM series lines of figures. Now, C2 is one of my favorite Code Geass characters. In fact, she's one of my favorite characters in anime in general. I mean, she loves pizza. She's attractive as hell. It's kind of like a win-win situation right there. And I love her personality. She's S-tier. And, which is a shame because she doesn't have a lot of figures. Well, actually, she does have a lot of figures, just none that I personally would go out of my way to buy. One of the most important things to me in figures is accurate facial representation. So you could have a really great figure, but if the face is off, chances are I'm probably not even going to buy it. Which is why I don't have a lot of John figures, regular John, because I feel like a lot of the John figure faces are just plain weird. Like, take a look at this one, for example. Like, I don't know what the heck is that. The only good John figure that I want is the one by Good Smile. I don't have it. Uh, I will get it eventually. If anyone wants to send me that for Christmas, you know, feel free. I'm just kidding. I don't even have a PO box, so. It's all, it's all good. A lot of C2's figures have this problem. Like, just take a look at MFC, and uh, you'll you'll have a treat in store for you, dude. Like, I don't even know what the heck is this, and what are these abominations? <laughs> yeah, pretty bad. I actually do own a couple of C2 figures, though. The prize figures by Brand Presto are actually really good, especially for the price. And last year, I got my first, like, scale figure, I guess, even though I don't actually particularly know what scale it is. I think it's 1 6th or 1 7th, I can't remember. Anyways, it's the C2 figure right here by Union Creative, which I think is the best C2 figure to date. We'll see if this one comes close. All right, so first off, I guess we'll talk about the box that it comes in. So it's gonna come in this uh, white box here. Uh, well, actually, it does come in this box, but it also will come in this box. Simple brown cardboard box, nothing too special. So you take it out of that, and then you get this. The box is actually relatively small, it's not going to take up a lot of space. So if you are one of those people who throw figure boxes away because they're too big and they take up a lot of space, this one doesn't. Don't throw this away, or I will hunt you down. The front window panel is shaped like a stone pillar, which is kind of... You know, obvious because the figure itself has a stone pillar. Color design, it has a green to white gradient and each of the sides, including the back, have a picture of the figure. The best touch on the box, I would say, are these window cutouts that are shaped like Gios symbols. Pretty cool. And that is pretty much it. We'll talk more about this picture on the back here because it kind of re relates to one of my nitpicks about the figure. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. Assembly is actually relatively simple. You just pluck her on the base and bam, she's got some pegs on there. You just pull it in. Good to go. I love simple figures. 10 out of 10. All right, so the figure itself. Paint job is pretty solid and the pose is fantastic for many reasons. There is one particular big reason you probably already know. I'm going to talk about this a little bit more in this video because I'll mention it at least like three times. but. Fantastic view, man. The base itself is actually pretty simple. A lot of people probably might be a little bit disappointed by it. It's just a regular circular base. Granted, this is part of Mega House's GEM series line, which I would believe are kind of simple figures to begin with. I'm not too sure because I don't collect from this line. But yeah, base is pretty simple. It's just circular and kind of has a marble look to it. The stone pillar actually has a surprising amount of detail on it. You can see some cracks and a little bit of it deteriorating. It's pretty cool. Uh, like I mentioned before, C2 herself is actually fashioned out in her pilot suit that she wears in the film. By the way, the film was fantastic, at least for me. I know the film probably had a little bit of controversy. I didn't really look at like how the Code Geass fan base kind of looks at the films, but personally for me, I'm just heavily biased and I'm a C2 fanboy, so I love the film, especially the ending. 10 out of 10, it was great. Oh, it's fantastic. The seat itself isn't too detailed, but the detail there is is pretty good, especially on the leggings. You can see a little bit of the folds, especially the little tightness on the thighs. That is uh, A+. So yeah, overall, very simple figure with a fantastic view of the backstory, okay? Overall, pretty great. 
I think it was around 12,000 yen, I believe. All right, so moving on to like my two nitpicks of the figure. Number one is the scale. I feel like this would have been much better if it was like one sixth or one seventh or maybe even one fourth. Okay, getting a little too greedy there. There's already a one fourth bunny figure of C2 that is coming out, I think. I didn't order it myself actually because I don't really collect bunny figures but c2 is, might be my first if i decide to impulse at it nope no nope, no nope, control yourself man. but yeah uh it's a little bit small like for example i have this ban presto prize figure of c2 which also has a great backstory uh and the scale in size is this one is obviously a little bit more bigger now this one is leaning but you can still tell that this one is a little bit more bigger in size so scale i feel like it could have been a lot bigger number two is the facial sculpt now it's not that bad like it's it's i'd say it's pretty close uh the only problem that i have with it it's a little bit of a nitpick it's probably not even going to be an issue for most people but the in person the lips are a little bit more pink pinkish red uh compared to the picture that they use to like you know show off the figure like this one as you can see here the lips aren't that pink and red but in person it might be a little bit hard to tell on the camera they are a little bit more on the pink side than I would personally would like and that just throw that just throws off the face to me a little bit obviously I know pink pink lips are kind of you know natural in reality but like this is anime we're talking about so you know yeah just a little minor nitpick just just Ken problems but yeah that aside from that it's a fantastic figure uh, if you're a really huge c2 fan or you just like cool girls in general I'd, uh, I'd say pick it up if you have the money all right so thank you guys so much for watching this video and uh, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that video. I want to give a special thanks to my patrons. Saswat, J, JJ Hitri, Beast, Cat Weiss, Malhat, Zippy Zap, Cheetan, Ralku, Kitsuchan, Protectoka, and Scala.